Hey, this is Ernest with Mixed Live Productions talking about the new release of SoundSwitch 2.2. Now, if you aren't familiar with SoundSwitch, it's a DJ lighting control software. I've been using it for several years and absolutely love the software. I'm going to talk to you from a DJ friendly perspective for those DJs that aren't really that versed in DMX lighting and try to make it easy for you to get acclimated and started with SoundSwitch 2.2. Now you can download SoundSwitch for free, but in order for it to fully operate, you will need a SoundSwitch dongle like this one here or the several others on the market that work with SoundSwitch as well. Also, you would need to know what lights that you're working with in order to program SoundSwitch for your lights. Today, I'll be working with the American DJ Mega Power Profile Plus lights these lights can be programmed from anywhere from four channels to 10 channels of DMX. So we're going to do these on 10 channel. So first what we need to do with our lights is go into the DMX mode and set up from four channel, change it from four channel to 10 channel. And I'm going to start with this light with channel, channel one. Now I'm going to do a total of four lights. Each light, um, I want to operate separately in the DMX universe. So the first one I'm going to set for DMX channel one. The next light, if you count 10 channels up, will start at DMX channel 11. Then the next light, counting 10 channels up, will start at DMX channel 21. And then the last light, counting four channels up again, it's going to be at DMX channel 31. So now that we got our lights all situated, let's go into the software. So once we're in SoundSwitch, the first thing we want to do is create a venue. So we'll click on the available venue and let's name this one test venue. Next we want to click on the DMX tab and we want to add our lights. And remember, the lights that we're using are the American DJ Maker Power Profile Plus. So we're going to go down and search first for the manufacturer. American DJ, find that manufacturer, and then search for our lights. And remember, we set them for 10 channel. There's the 10 channel. And we're going to click that and drag it into our DMX universe. And as you can see, it took up 1 through 10 in that DMX universe. Let's drag another in. And that's going to take up 11 through 20. Let's grab another. And that's going to take up 21 through 30. And one more light fixture. And that's going to take up 31 through 40. Now that we have our lights set up, I want to make a slight change to the lights and change the fixture category on a couple of these to show sound switch how the light should behave. So two I'm going to leave as watch primary and then I'm going to hit the drop down and change the other two to watch secondary. And you'll see how sound switch treats these lights once we auto script the track. Next let's choose a track to auto script. So we'll go up to the upper left hand corner, go to music and click on our crates and double click the track that we'd like to load that'll load in the main window and next we'll click on auto script and what that will do will set a script for this track you can click on advance um, which will give you more detail but for the sake of simplicity we'll just go ahead and click auto and sound switch analyzes the track and we have an auto script now at this point you can save the track as is or you can enhance it if you decide to do so. So let's add a little enhancement. What I'd like to do is maybe add a, let's say a chase at a certain point. So we'll choose a point in the song, highlight the lighting fixtures that we'd like to have the chase apply to. Go over to chase, choose one of the chases and just drag that over into the track it'll ask you if you want quarter beat half beat whatever we're going to use quarter beat and just click OK 
and sound switch adds the chase feature to that auto script. At this point, we'll go ahead and save the track and let's see what it looks like on the other side on our lights. So that's a quick overview of Sound Switch 2.2. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. Also, please hit subscribe so you'll be notified when we add new content. Also, big shout out to Dapper for the incredible track. You'll find a link below to his YouTube page. Also, check out Sound Switch's YouTube page for more in-depth, detailed tutorials on working with the software and setting up your lights. Once again, thank you for tuning in, and until next time, peace out from Ernest Delane and Mixed Live Productions.